You play a game with your fans called Mystery Diagnosis. Tell us about that. So basically, I post a mystery image of a pathologic photo of usually like a diseased organ, and then my followers just guess whatever it is. And some people write kind of funny comments, but I have med students and non-medical people following me, so they really guess what it is. And then within a week, I write what the answer is and explain it to them. So do you guys want to play a game with me? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's all play. Let's all play. Okay, so cool. it's going to be really fun. Mystery diagnosis, okay. take it away. OK, so let's look at the first image. So that looks, looks, that looks like my area. That looks like a, like condyloma. It looks like warts. Yeah, it looks yeah, like warts, does. condyloma. Yeah. OK. What does the audience think? Do they have any guesses? Melanoma, okay. anyone no, else? No, that's not melanoma. Everybody's anyone? Okay, I think so there, there are a lot of heads shaking. <laughs> I think we like condyloma. Pe people yeah, don't, okay. don't know what they're, so, what they're so seeing. Great guess. So for the, for the layman that doesn't know what the hell a condyloma is, the, uh, this is anal warts. Does everybody yeah. know what that is? <laughs> yeah. OK, so this is a patient who has a history of anal sex. So the lesson to take here is that it's really important to wear protection when you have sex because the HPV virus is super contagious. Next image. <laughs> what are we looking at here? And, and everyone in the audience can jump in. People at home, play along. Um, I know. You know? Oh, what favorite. did I hear? There you go. The audience says gallstones. OK, a... so you guys are right. So this is a female, and she falls under the demograph of, of what we say in medicine, which is female, fat, 40, and fertile. So th th they're yellow because they're made out of cholesterol. So the most likely time you are to have a gallbladder attack is when you're eating a fatty meal, like a hamburger, fries, or something. So the lesson to learn here is to just decrease fatty meals, you'll be less likely to have gallbladder attacks and, you know, just try to live a healthier lifestyle. Those are some, those are some sizable those are some yeah. right there. Marbles right so there. Beautiful. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Okay. Next case. This one's awesome. And you could also see that I'm holding this specimen in my hand. So you could see by, you could kind of get a scale of what size it is. It looks, it looks like the. No. no. That, I think that's the that neck. Is that the esophagus? Yeah, this, that's the and throat. The... You got it, throat. Okay, so this is a 60 year old female who smoked a pack of cigarettes for almost her entire life since she was a teenager. And this is a larynx, and it's kind of cut open and spread open. So this is your whole entire throat. And what is exposed is the vocal cords, and she has what's called a glottic tumor or a tumor on her vocal cords. And this is from smoking, and it just shows the not so glamorous side of smoking that you would have to get your entire throat cut out from smoking. So yeah. that's a deterrent normally, right there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, normally you see ads for lung smoking, but people don't know that. You could get cancer in your pancreas, your kidneys, your bladder, your throat, your mouth, and so many other organs from smoking. Well, I would just say to you, keep up the great work. I think it's fascinating what you're doing, which is really bringing something that a lot of people aren't aware of into basically the open with your yep. social media account. And anyone who's interested in this kind of thing, obviously you can follow her. Nicole, you have three new followers right here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Nicole.